sewn into your hair. That's all extensions are. Extensions, right? There's a girl are here. hair that is braided into your hair, and a lace front is a wig that starts from the, t- the forehead and goes all the way back because this is a, a wig, like the Sherry like Shepherd style. <laughs> I, uh, I those are my know. girls. No, but Sherry yeah. Shepard. Sherry Shepard wears wigs. Yeah, no shit. The, like, it, Did you see Cheryl Underwood? I saw Cheryl Underwood in, on the talk today, and none of the women had on makeup. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing for, Jay? Because. I didn't even finish. No, I just thought of something funny. <laughs> but yeah, they, yeah, they should have. Yeah. Cheryl's one of the funniest episode. human beings alive. Cheryl, she grab a mic. It's a, it's, that it's mic over. is dead when, it's, when she yeah. comes. Yeah, she murders. You just plug her in and begin. It's mm-hmm. over. But she was on the talk and none of nobody had makeup on. Who's your top three female comics? Your favorite top three. Female. Wow. I, I, I like uh female comics a lot more than most. Mm-hmm. So off the top of my head right mm-hmm. now, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but Cheryl. Who not, makes you laugh? Cheryl, Cheryl makes, makes me laugh, laugh a lot. Mm-hmm. Like she, wh- Whoopi, number one. Mm-hmm. I love Whoopi Goldberg. Mm-hmm. Like she's at, she's like all time way up there for me. For okay. real. No, I get it. Cheryl. But you know, like that Queens of Comedy, like they yeah. fucking just hit my funny bone, man. They make it, me laugh. Yeah. Like when they just start slamming on their man and shit, like, yeah. and I kept repeating on of it, but right. like it really fucking makes me laugh. With the queens like, like some more, mm-hmm. like that shit makes me laugh. Who's your Who's your top three guys uh, besides Finesse Mitchell? Carlin, Carlin, he's my all time favorite. Okay, and then uh, like I just Brian Regan, I love because he mm-hmm. never has cussed his whole life, mm-hmm. and just so it just makes me laugh so hard. And I love, you know, Pryor, obviously, but, yeah. you know, the thing with Pryor to me is there's like, if you pulled like all the Carlin, uh, sorry, Car- yeah, if you took all the Carlin albums and pulled them randomly out and listened to them, mm-hmm. you would say, on all of them, you'd mm-hmm. say, that's, this is incredible shit. Mm-hmm. But then w- it seems to me with Pryor, there's like a third of them where he was just high as balls and mm-hmm. the audience is high as balls. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. But there's no, it's like a home run hitter that strikes out. When I got that prior discology thing, and it was like 10 disc in there or whatever, and I was listening to it, I heard some of everybody's Oh my jokes. God. It's a, any it, black it, guy I doing a white guy is doing Richard jokes. Pryor doing a white guy. The, 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 when you're jogging and the old white guy passes you, keep it up, buddy, keep yep. it up. Yeah. Like he was the I guy. Even, Chappelle is one of my favorites. And I even heard Richard on one of his discs uh, say, um, you know, uh, I heard him say, uh, uh, spread your butt cheeks, Johnson, or something like that. Like, you know, what, what Chappelle said something about, you know, what you want me to do, spread my, spread my cheeks when he, when he gets pulled over by the police or whatever. But Chappelle did that on Killing Me Softly. He, he did that, that whole little bit. And I was just like, <gasps> hey, everybody, this is Dave Chappelle. <laughs> And one of the weird things about my act is every once in a while, I do my punchline in a white voice Mm. for no reason at all. Just look at the audience and go, you know why they don't take black people hostage? Because we're bad bargaining chips. Because we're bad bargaining chips. Robin Harris. Um, (laughs) Because we're bad bargaining chips. But then later when he goes to the white guy voice, I'm like, no, that's... Vanessa, you want to know why I didn't take the 50 million... From Comedy Central to do another season of Chappelle's show? You sound like fucking... <laughs> Why, Dave? Because I had a dick that came with it, and I didn't want the dick part of it. And I was like, what? Is that like Tracy's Papa Bear speech? Yeah, pretty much. Finesse. You can't be Papa Bear. You can't finesse Mitchell. Do, do Dave again. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who's ah. that <laughs> you sound like, ah, that's Dave. Did you rule South Africa once when you were done with your jail sentence? <laughs> I just <laughs> that's you fucking sound, <laughs> that's you sound like. I went to South Africa, man, and when I came back to the states, everybody said I went crazy. I just went on vacation with my kids. Can I have a vacation hey, hey. with my kids? Who are your favorites of all time? Chappelle, Atel, 
and Pryor. I wish and there was Eddie a, Murphy. I wish there was a third somebody with L on their name. I know Chappelle and Fontanelle Appel, <laughs> and Lunell. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Lunell? Well, Lunell, don't sleep on Lunell now. Don't sleep on Lunell. You, uh, I was so surprised to find out you played football for the University of Miami. By the Canes. Oh, we got beat so bad the other day. And you played with Warren Sapp and with The Rock. Yeah. How about I, The Rock? Like it's and he, well, he didn't play. Like did The Rock play all the time? No, he like played a, a little bit. His, yeah, situational. Special he was team. hurt a lot, and uh, his senior year he got in a couple of times. But he had Could you smell what he was cooking? He was the quietest guy on that team. He didn't have a personality, I think, until after he left that team. Like, Were you a, a defensive back? Did I call that? Yeah, I was, yes, sir. I was cornerback, strong safety, two years, and then I Were got you kicked off up? the team. Why smoking grass? No, great. You got to have a certain GPA to play football. At I didn't Miami? know that. Yes, sir. Even at Miami. Write your name. Just scribble your name here. It was like you can get away with some stuff, but a one point five can't do it. <laughs> finesse. I was like, dang, man, y'all tricked me. I would have been studying. And you're looking at Warren Sapp, like, how the fuck does he have a two point five? Man, there was 5? some people that was on that field. I was like, for real, he gets to play. <laughs> you know what I mean? You knew Are these you guys. Really, did personally. you start? No, man. I came in my freshman year, um, practice team, special teams, and off the team. Those were my <laughs> – that was my – They say special teams is all attitude. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, you know, it just takes a fierce person. But is it also the guys know that if it wasn't for – I jumped all over you and I apologize, but I, no, could, I get good. excited. Is it because guys on special teams know that they're just close to not being on the team? So I'm going to go down there and just fucking knock no, somebody if, out. No, if you want, no, if you want to make the team, you have to stand out on special teams. Right. That Unless you're a su- Warren Sapp ain't running down on special yeah, teams. Yeah, no, no, no. Because he's a Hall of Fame. But Warren tackle. Sapp came in as a tight end. Really? He converted to defensive tackle because he kept him and Cheryl and Underwood would be a perfect couple. Uh, we talk about two crazy people. Two crazy people. Holy moly! That's built to say. 